I'm going to talk about Joshua. So we mentioned Yeshua. We talk about the importance of Adonai Yeshua, Mashiach. I was listening to Rabbi Yeshua on the day of the Kabbalah yesterday. He talked about the way that Joshua led the people. But also he was a Torah leader. He was a great Torah. Not only that, he was a great general. You know, he led the people out of Egypt, went through them through the desert, and ended up being one of the first judges of Israel. Whenever they went into the scout the land, Joshua and Caleb went to the scouts that were unafraid of the giants that were in the land. So they continued forward. And more so than that, even the military strategies of Joshua are still studied today. What we end up seeing is that Joshua ended up as a leader. So all of the doctrine that we have from Moses, so from Moshe, all of it was preserved by Joshua, Yeshua. So Yeshua would have been able to go and to be able to preserve all of that, all of the victories that they had. In fact, his greatest loss is probably one of the most well-known stories. But probably next to whenever they marched around the walls, and then they ended up falling, and they ended up taking the city. And so what you ended up having was that at AI, when they were going into the city, what had happened is that one person had ended up holding some of the gold that they had, and they held on to it. And so after Jericho, and with Jericho, of course, they marched around the wall seven times, and the walls fell. And it's kind of a miracle of Christ. But with AI, what they ended up having to do was have the purification of the people. And so when they had that one sin in their camp, it ended up giving them failure. But once they eliminated that sin, it ended up giving them victory. So it showed the absolute importance of cleansing the sin from the camp. So that within the city and within the camp, once you end up taking away that sin, it ends up giving you that blessing of God that ends up allowing for you to go forth and to take the city. So once you take away out all of the sin from your life, it's actually the parallel of the teaching, is that you're going to be able to go forth into the city and win it. So thus, in the same way, in the same character aspects that you see within Joshua, when he was able to lead the people to victory, it was because they would consult the Lord. God would tell them to go into this or that city, and they would take the city. And they would end up being victorious in that city. In fact, Yeshua, his name actually means victory. And so what you ended up having was the victory that was proclaimed through the name of the leader of the people, and also set forth for him as a spiritual leader, even leading forth under the Messiah. But the way that he ended up having it with Joshua is that this instruction in the Torah had been given to Moses, and Joshua ended up laying the foundation of it that went through the judges and even under the kings that set forth as the foundational instruction of Israel and also for the blessings to receive the land, the victory that he had when he went into the land, the Torah itself, the judgment, the establishment of the way that all of the the overseers were set forth, how you would have the rulers over the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands, and generally the way that the generals were to command it, and you ended up setting forth the government, the whole Torah system, and generally the government of Israel was set forth, and was set established through Moshe and Joshua. And so what we end up having is that when we look at Joshua, we see the foundations of Israel, we see the victory and the miracles of God, and we also see a strong leader. You know, when we look at Christ, oh, it's the same name. But what we should understand is that we should go forth and have that victory in God and that we should look at Yeshua and we should be able to see the victory that comes forth when we call upon God's name and we consult the Lord knowing that once we take away that sin from our camp that we're then going to be able to go into the city, claim that victory and ultimately be established as a leader and a judge. This is Reverend Casey Carroll here in Venice saying God bless. See ya.